Welcome to Hub Cities, folks. This season we're doing a special partnership with the Lubbock Cultural Arts Foundation. We're talking art, Lubbock art. And we have Joey Martinez, muralist here in Lubbock, Texas, uh, to chat with for a little bit. I'm super excited to talk to you. We see your murals all around town and they're so cool. Thank you. I'm so curious, that. like, how do you even get to do a mural on a building? When I first started doing uh, graffiti, you know, I would, uh, I was just scavenging up cans, you know, uh, th there was a lot of gang graffiti where I grew up in the Arnett Benson area. And so I would, like there was, on the end of my block, there was a wall that was just all gang graffiti, you know, it was just really bad. One night I just uh, uh, scavenged some cans and I went out there and uh, I put Mexican pride, you know, I wanted people to respect the neighborhood and I wanted people to see it like more, I like, wanted to beautify the community. And I know that sounds crazy to put graffiti over graffiti, but at the time I just felt like it was right, you know? And uh, right then and there, like I just, I, I, it was like a spark. I knew that I had a passion right after I did that. Cause it's like, I felt like I was doing something positive for the community. Wow. So what are some, can you talk about some of the murals? We have the LBK mural. How did that one get started? Um, uh, CC Electric, they reached out to me and they were like, hey, we have this idea, we have a big wall and I'd like to to paint on, paint on top of it. And so I was like, sure, you know, I originally started from another person wanted to do the job and they were, they were going to take like nine months to do it. They didn't have the time and uh, kind of just landed on, you know, on my lap. And I took it on. It took about maybe five months to design and it took like a week to paint. Um, I flew in a buddy from Chicago. He came and helped me out. Um, you know, it was just, I was so excited to get this, this mural on, you know, uh, uh, something that had a lot of culture in it, you know, and uh, we went from the past and worked our way to the present, you know, so it was a really amazing experience and I'm just glad that I was selected to do it. Yeah, it's beautiful. We have it as a the cover of our last year's visitor guide, I believe, oh, really? like a portion of it. Oh yeah, I remember that. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's, it's really incredible. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Whenever you get commissioned for these pieces, do you have in mind what you want to do or? Uh, sometimes, you know, they, they, you know, when I talk to a client, they usually give me an idea and sometimes it'll just spark. Like I, I know what I'm going to do. And then there's just some times that we have to sit together and just like really cover what they're wanting, you know? And um, I think it's really important to, to even use like Photoshop to, to help build the image. I'll take a picture of the wall and whatever they're wanting, I'll put that image on top of that wall so they can see exactly what they're gonna get. And, you know, once they approve, then it's, you know, game over from there. Wow, <laughs> that's awesome. I know a ton of people are talking about your most recent one, the Patrick Mahomes over near university. It is legit. It is so, <laughs> so cool. I'm so curious, like, is there a picture of Patrick with it yet? I'm sure he's like. I, I wish, yeah. I wish that, that were the case. Um, Albert Gutierrez, he owns a Now We Talking, and uh, he reached out to me. He's like, if for over a year, and he's like, I want this done, and please, let's get this get something going. And I, and he told me he would have, like he wanted a, a Patrick Mahomes or a Coach Beard, and I, was, you know, I found a cool image of Patrick Mahomes, and like, you know what? It's it's really hip. It's not he's not in uniform. It's just something the college students can vibe with, you know. So mm -hmm. I put that image on on the wall and. I mean, it blew up. And the coolest part about it was uh, when I posted on my Instagram, uh, Patrick Mahomes had uh, posted on his storyline. So I started getting all kinds of followers. Oh, and that's awesome. It was really neat how it all just happened. I mean, it was just like so instant, but yeah. um, it was a good feeling afterwards. Yeah, I bet. So that Instagram is wise1978, right? Yes, if anybody wants to check it out, you can see all Please. the art that Joey has. <laughs> um, so can you speak to the Lubbock art community? I mean, you're such a huge part of that. Whenever I hear or think of the art community, you're definitely one of the people I think of. So what's the art community like for you, like the culture of Lubbock art? Um, like growing up, there really wasn't much of a scene. Um, and I really just try to change that, you know, I try to, to, to create these murals in the community. Uh, once, you know, I, I came out of like, of, of letting people know that I was the artist that was doing it. Like I started getting all these commission jobs to do them. And so, um, you know, it really wasn't even about that at, at the beginning, you know, it was more of just creating artwork. I had such a big passion for it. Uh, and it was mainly graffiti art, you know, um, 
lot of people get that mixed up with vandalism. And I, I always try to make it like an important, uh, very important to, to let them know that it's, uh, that it's art, you know? Mm -hmm. And even just creating some letters, it takes a lot of creativity to, to, to process something like that, you know? So I just, uh, I have fun with it, you know? And I, and I just do what I do. Um, but, you know, if anything, I, I just, uh, I wanted to put culture out there, like for the Hispanic uh, community, uh, anything like that was happening, like current events, I always try to put like something that was really important that people could relate to. So, you know, it's just the artwork that I created, people, you know, they were always so, they felt like they were a part of it because, you know, I was making it about our community, the community that I grew up in. Yeah, for sure. It definitely gives them a connection to it. And they have yes. like an ownership in it. And they can like relate to it or con yeah, connect with it in some way. I, I think that's, you know, so valuable that people can connect to, to the artwork that I, um, that I create. So very important to me. Yeah. What else brings in like the inspiration for you? Uh, you know, um, you know, just being Hispanic, you know, uh, I know that's crazy to say, but I, I want to encourage other uh, minorities to to do stuff like this, you know, and uh, just let them know that if, you know, I, I grew up uh, very poor, you know, and uh, now I'm very successful just doing what I do. And so I try to teach people how to do that. And uh, it makes me proud when I see a fellow artist being able to create something beautiful, you know, so it's just like sharing. That's all I'm really trying to do. It definitely comes through with your art. Like you can tell that you're passionate about what you do and you really, really love it. And that's really cool to see. And I think it honestly inspires the next generation. And so what's, what's something maybe you wish you had known about creating art or what's something I guess that, um, that you want to inspire the next generation with? You know, uh, one of the most important things for me is, is education. Like I, I went to school, I wanted to show people that I could get a degree with this and that I could, you know, just, just inspire somebody else to just keep on going to school and to follow your dreams. Like, I, you know, I was a dreamer, you know, and I'm, now I'm just living those dreams, you know? So it's, uh, I, I just strongly encourage people to just continue to go to school, learn, just learn and never had take, never had that pride to, to just feel like you can do everything on your own without hearing somebody else's opinion or whatever the case is. So yeah, I mean, simple. <laughs> yeah, for sure. We really appreciate you doing this um, video project with us. We uh, love hearing stories about the arts and we love sharing Lubbock art with everyone. So if, if people are wanting to check out your art, again, it's wise one 1978 on Instagram. Uh, you can see all the different murals that Joey has around town, which are incredible. Like I said before, you. when you're talking the arts, Lubbock art, this guy's iconic, so we appreciate you being here so much. Thank you so much for, for letting me be here with you guys. Of course. For more about the arts, check out LubbockCulturalArts.org.